Butterflies, it's Leek. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I hope you're subscribe and stay. For today's video, we're going to be doing one of my favorite things, which is putting you guys on. I feel like I'm the queen of putting y'all on because if you guys ask me where I got something, I'm going to tell you. And you're even lucky if you beat me to it because nine times out of ten, I'm going to tell you before you even get the chance to ask because I'm just that type of person. Like, oh, girl, I got this from here. I got this from there. And if I have a code, I'm going to give it to you. Like, I love to put people on. I'm not stingy about anything. And I respond to every comment, so I figured I would just have a little video. I want to talk about my must-have hygiene products. I want to do a like scent video separate, so like with fragrances and stuff like that. I want to do that separately. So this is going to be like, you know, just hygiene, body, skin, things like that that I really, really enjoy and I want to share with you guys. So they're not in any particular order, but let's go ahead and get started with the products because I want to really take my time to talk about each one. So we're not going to spend too much time on this intro, but if you want to see what these products are make sure you keep on watching because we're gonna get into it so for number one you guys know I love I don't have my hair mask in here but hair mask we know I love a hair mask I love a hair mask and I love a face mask you guys know I love this detox mask by teeny it's my favorite it's an all-in-one you guys know I love all-in-one it's my favorite I would much rather have an all-in-one product like a detox mask than to have a mask for brightening for acne, for dryness. You guys know I said this in the first video where I showed you guys this. I just want to show you it one more time because I really, really, really like this a lot more than I thought I would. And I did it last night again with Ken. So like, we just love it. We do this mask about twice a week, which is more than we've ever done a mask. Usually we'll do a mask like once a week, but this mask we'll do two to three times a week, really. Like we love to do it. We'll like be ready to do mask night or whatever. So this mask is it. You guys know I have a code. I have so many codes. I'm thinking about putting all my codes in my description and just always having them on a box so that you guys can just have them to access. But then again, I feel like it's overwhelming, so I don't know. But this is my favorite. I love a good mask. Taking good care of your skin with a mask, whether it's natural, whether it's store-bought, whatever. Highly recommend doing it. You know, your skin really needs a good cleansing especially if you're somebody who wears makeup like me you're gonna have to make sure that your skin is very clean and very well taken care of because it's your base and your base speaks for everything if my base is not good if i'm breaking out if my skin doesn't feel right my makeup's not gonna look right and i'm the type of person that i can't wear makeup if my skin does not feel right i will take as long as i need to i've gone as long as like two weeks without wearing any bit of makeup because I just wanted my skin to get back right. And then as far as my hair, I love to take care of my hair now. I love to do hair mask. It's just my favorite. I just love the purpose of a mask and I love to use a mask. I think that my life would be very incomplete without a mask. It's very crucial in my hygiene routine, my self-care routine, whatever you want to call it. I just love them. I don't think that my skin would be as good as it is if I didn't do mask in between to upkeep it or my hair wouldn't be as soft as it is if I didn't wear a mask because hair masks are fairly new to me. I've been wearing face masks for years but when it comes to hair masks I've been doing that for maybe like less than a year or around a year so that's very new to me but it's very very crucial now. It's embedded in my routine to where I can't see myself not using a hair mask so I do love a great hair mask and a great face mask and that is my favorite one right now. I want to say, I don't know if this is considered a hygiene product, but I know it has changed my life forever. So a microfiber towel for your hair. I have to say, I don't know why I ever used a t-shirt. Like I know a t-shirt will suffice. Like I would use anything over a towel when it comes to my hair. You know, I think that anyone would, but like I'm seriously thinking about investing in like a silk pillowcase or like anything because i slept with this in my hair last night and when i tell you i've never woken up to such perfect hair i still ended up putting it in a bun just because i had to do a separate video today like this made my hair like i didn't want to touch it i wanted to let it breathe so i'm probably gonna do it again tonight which i don't usually wet my hair twice in a row but i might just do it just because like this really 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 helped my hair i don't know it's crazy to me like my curls were not frizzy they weren't you know when you have curly hair and you just go to go to sleep with it the way that it is and how you wake up and how it looks it's just not it like you always have to refresh it the next morning i hate like re-wetting my hair re-putting in product when i did that the night before that's why i would like having it in french braids but i don't know how to braid so like now that i'm not with my mom <laughs> i can't have my hair in braids to hold the product in but this did the job it held the product in it dried it overnight to where it wasn't overly dry it wasn't overly wet it wasn't damp it was like 90 percent dry to the point where if i wanted to style it i could have styled it but the curls were all intact they were very defined they were very moisturized hydrated i just loved everything about it and i didn't expect that because i slept with it in and it stayed in because it has a little 
hook part so that it doesn't come off and I just like loved it I don't know but I think now that I have one I will never go back to ever putting anything else on my hair when it's wet I think my microfiber towel is here to stay she is my favorite thing that I've discovered this year in 2021 so far by far that's crazy to say but I think that this has changed my life for the better and so if you are a curly girl or any type of girl I think that any girl if you have problems with dry hair whether it's curly or not but especially curly girls because we know we have a lot of trouble keeping our curls hydrated use a microfiber towel it is really really worth the hype and it is really really life changing now I'm kind of going to switch and go around something I've never really shown like that but when it comes to periods so I didn't get a period for like a really long time like I didn't get a period period for I don't even know how long because I've been on and off birth control for I don't know like four years now every now and then I do get a period so what do I use you ask one brand and one brand only that I discovered during quarantine actually and I just like fell in love so right now I'm currently in my period great <laughs> and I use honey pots so these right here specifically are their regular regular pads so they have like overnights those are the like the lavendery ones this is like a fuchsia type pink on camera it's giving purple but it's really like a pinky color in person you know it has lavender it's completely natural and it like really amazes me that as women well at least maybe as me i didn't even know that our pads and things had chemicals in them like that's so crazy that literally everything we buy has a chemical in it so when i was like oh it's black owned and it's natural like why not try it it really really changed my life so it says that it has mint lavender aloe it does give you a cooling feeling when you put it on i love that about it Oh yeah, they have lot. They have liners. They have their regular, their super, and their overnight. So this is their regular, I believe. I don't really have a heavy flow, so I use more pads on the regular side. But this, not only okay, I might, I'm gonna get a little TMI, so, uh, but we all go through it. It's completely natural. So with these, I noticed, and I actually read up on it online, knowing how when you use a regular pad you would experience blood that was like very dark or brown with these you get like a more bright red blood which is really weird but it it's good for you it means you're getting healthy blood out and not like that old you can look it up maybe i'll put the article if i find it but like your blood is red with these and that's the color that it really should be it helps with cramps because of all the natural ingredients that it has it makes your period lighter shorter over time trust me i read about it this is legit and it's not just honey pot it's any of the natural organic brands that you might see in target which is where they sell this exclusively it really really helps like i don't think i'll ever 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 go back to regular pads i don't use tampons by the way they do they do make tampons i've never tried them because when i got my period my mom had only ever used pads so i naturally just use what my mom used so i've only used pads and i'm fine with that i don't have a heavy flow and I don't like do water activities and stuff like that. So I don't find it necessary to wear a tampon. I'm perfectly fine with a pad. I'm not, I'm here for it. So, and then continuing that on, another product that I love by them are their normal wipes. Here they are. They have sensitive ones too. They come in blue, but I like these because I don't really have sensitivity anywhere. I'm sure every girl is sensitive down there, but like me, even with my face, I don't really have sensitive skin. So I don't like get sensitive products because I just feel like I should leave that people who have sensitive skin. So I use the normal ones. They're for intimate parts, body, face. They're plant-based. And there's 30 in here. And this will last me a while. What I like to use these for are, again, like if I'm on my period, like these will just get the job done. I'll just clean up and wipe up myself. I mean, it's really good when you're on your period to be on it. Because I don't know about y'all, but I'm not going to shower two to three times a day. Like I'll shower once. And if I start to feel gross with the blood, like I'll just go and wipe myself up because that's how my body gets overly dry, which I do have is overly dry skin. And like me, if I repetitively, if I repetitively shower, then my skin will get really dry. So I don't like to do that. I like to shower once at night, rub myself down, go to sleep, let it soak up. And the next day I'm usually fine for the whole day until that next night when I need to shower again. But these you can use honestly for any, basically what you would probably use a baby wipe for. There's something about this that just feels a little bit more grown and like it's good for, you know, the period blood. Like I said, I don't use it to wipe when I go to the bathroom because I just got baby wipes for that. For those, I'll use to just clean myself up. You can use them on your armpits if you're getting hot, if you're getting sweaty on a hot day. It's good for anything. If you're a girl who just deals with like sweating or anything down there, you really want to keep like some wipes on you or just have them just to have them. Like I said, I will. these will last me for like a whole month 
probably are longer because I don't always use them. But whenever I need to wipe up, I know that I have them. But I don't know. I like these two because they're just natural and they smell like they have a really light natural smell. And you do feel really refreshed after you use them. So I like that feeling too. I'm telling you guys, I have products for everything in front of me. So I'm like trying to figure out how to go about this. But I guess I'll say, speaking of sweat, this is my favorite deodorant. I've been using this for like two years and it is unmatched i will show you right now it has a glare but this is a deodorant that i use to get more specific it's the outlast sweat and odor secret completely clean 48 hour clear gel gel changed my life i forgot who showed me or who had gel and i had to use it and i used it and i was like you're lying or i got a mini travel size and i was like you're lying because i've tried sprays and don't like the way it like dries up my armpit i've tried you know the regular with the white and then it's just i don't know i don't like a traditional deodorant or a spray and this comes out in a gel it has like the little holes you see how it comes up and then it can go back down but i love these because not only does it dry down clear it's not drying and one thing i will say is that i've never ever had an odor with this one it really locks in that smell i know it's not a natural deodorant maybe someday i will transition to natural deodorant because that has its good perks too i just want to thoroughly do my research before i just go and pick one i want to do the right one and things like that i like to research things before i just go and buy them but this has worked for me i don't have an odor with other deodorants when i was young and i was going through puberty i would definitely like have a smell after a while and it's like why like and that's normal i'm not afraid to say that i don't know much you guys but like it was like why if i'm wearing deodorant am i having a smell so with this i've never smelled myself i haven't smelled myself musty in years because this don't leave no white marks on your t-shirt you see i'm wearing black there's i put my deodorant on first i don't know this is the best deodorant i've ever tried in my whole life and i never see any girls talk about it like the gel form is way better than any other kind that i've ever tried so I don't know, but y'all are sleeping on this one. So we'll keep it going. Another thing that I never really used until recently, maybe like a few years ago, and I wasn't, maybe like a year ago actually, and I wasn't really like raised where like you need to use this. I just know if you brush your teeth and you floss, you're good. But recently, I think that mouthwash, this is wet and it's throwing me off because why are you wet? Mouthwash is important, you guys. Kendrick likes to buy Crest, so I use Crest as well. Back home, I used to use like Colgate but mouthwash is amazing for your mouth it kills the germs it i mean my breath already will smell good after i brush my teeth so it's not even about the breath part it's just about getting all the germs germs plaque for me this will protect my teeth it, they won't feel as like you ever run your tongue over your teeth i don't know i do that because like i drink coffee and like i'll feel like stuff on my teeth and they won't feel smooth anymore and like this will keep that smooth feeling all day i don't know why but it will so like Mm, like I don't have it right now. I have that smooth feel right now. I don't know. It's really weird But this does just more than keep your breath clean. So like brush your teeth new mouthwash I don't know. I do it every day now and I just like it and then I just wanted to share it with you guys Because I want to show you guys everything that I do Because these are all things that I do every single day or very often and I don't think I would ever Not do them anymore if that makes sense you guys know that I have completely X'd out makeup wipes out of my routine. I wanted to do it for so long and I finally did it. I have not used a makeup wipe in forever. So what do I use instead? Aside from my face wash, that's all part of my skincare routine. I want to say that a micellar water or a makeup melt off spray. I really like this a lot. I have a TikTok on it, but I use either one. Those were life changing as well. Like. I think that like getting rid of makeup wipes in your routine should really be needed. Don't be lazy like and when you use a makeup wipe you're like rubbing your eyes and it's like really it's a bother it irritates your eyes and one thing that I hate is going to bed with any type of eye makeup on whether it's eyeliner, eyelash glue, mascara. I don't want anything on my eyes when I go to sleep because overnight you will literally build up bacteria and you can wake up with a sty which I woke up with when I was like 18 and i was like never again will i ever 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 sleep with makeup on my eyes because it was the nastiest thing ever i had like the biggest bump on my eye literally overnight and the doctor told me it was because of my makeup and i knew that because i would always like go to sleep and, like half ass wash my face you need to wash your face okay make sure you get it like i, I showed y'all in my i forget if it's my self-care routine or it's my nighttime routine i have a whole 
whole bunch of steps that I do to remove my makeup like this will be gone I will make sure that every drop of it is gone I will wash cleanse double cleanse use a balm use a micellar water use a spray I'm gonna do everything that I can because a makeup wipe is not gonna do it if you think that just a makeup wipe is doing it no somebody needs to like <laughs> scrape your skin and put it under a microscope and you will be grossed out so make sure that you are triple quadruple all that cleansing your skin and that's what i think is like excellent makeup wipes get you some cotton pads some micellar water go to work on those eyes make sure that all your makeup is gone especially around your eyes because that's a really dangerous hazard like i said bacteria will build up overnight and you will wake up with a sty and it's the nastiest thing ever for sure clean your face trust me it really matters or shower you guys think that i always have the same look because it's the same color but i really just like getting the light pink one so every like two months i replace it with a new pink one but a loofah yes i do still use a rag when it comes to down there or like my neck if i got a scrub but like it smells so good because i just used it this a loofah it's something that, that makes it more fun to shower because it just soaps up that soap and it just feels good and it's scrubbing you like. I think using my loofah is my favorite part of my shower routine because you're just getting into everything. And yes, I know that this also can build up bacteria, which is why you should replace it every year. So often I try to replace it when I re whenever I replace like my toothbrush or sooner. Which is every three months, by the way, if you didn't know that, replace your toothbrush every three months. But I try to like use my loofah. I don't know. I just love loofahs like they get it all soapy and they really scrub and I know that I really scrub because I see like the dirt literally coming off my skin if it's been like a long day so I prefer to use a loofah on everywhere that isn't like I said down there or like my neck sometimes like when you put a lot of grease on your hair you'll get like dirt on your neck so you just want to like scrub it and like I use this on my feet on my hands it's just very gentle but it gets the job done as well. I got Kendrick into using this, which is why I'm going to brag about it because he has a loofah in the shower. It's white. I told him he should have got white though because he really sweats every day. So he should have got black. But <laughs> I got him into using one of these. I got him to exfoliate and I got him to use a loofah. So I recommend a loofah 100%. Like just throw it in there. You can use this and a rag, do whatever you want. But I don't know. I just really like using a loofah. And you could also exfoliate with these. So if you don't want to get like an exfoliating glove, which I do recommend. For like when you're shaving or whatever you can exfoliate with this and you can use soap with it so it'll really help dig deep in that skin so and then the og of soaps you know i had to talk about a little body soap you know we love dr bronner's in this household we love method we love you know a lot of stuff but the og that just works for like every family in america i feel like is dove and we continue to go back to it this one is cocoa butter cocoa butter where did I, i've been calling this cocoa butter <laughs> forever this is shea butter and warm vanilla and Kendrick picked this one out and I don't know I like it I really like this one a lot it smells so good like it smells so natural it smells like lotion almost I really like this but I just want to say that Dove is just I don't know if it's like the number one selling soap but if it's not it needs to be because everyone just uses it it's just simple household name you know to go straight to dove if you don't want to try anything different so dove is my favorite soap for my body i don't use it down there down there by the way if you're wondering i only use water or like the wipes if i'm on my period but i only use water i don't care if it's like the sensitive people say they use sensitive dove bar soap i don't need that i feel like water and like spraying that hose <laughs> just gets the job done and using a rag like that's all I do. It cleans itself. Of course, like the outside, I like exfoliate or whatever. But when it comes to like all up in there and it all around and all that, I just use a towel and water. And I've always been fine. So I don't use Dove Sensitive like every other girl. I feel like every girl says they use Dove Sensitive Bar Soap down there. And I'm just like, I don't get it. I just use water and I'm fine. So... If water doesn't work for you, because I'm not I'm not trying to be a pick me, so if water really don't work for you and you have to use bar soap, by all means do it. I'm letting you know what I've heard and what I've learned. But for me, I've always used water. I've never had a problem, so I feel like if I was to try it, I might throw something off down there. So I really just use water every single day, and I'm usually very fine. So now and before the pandemic, I always carried around hand sanitizer, but I used to carry around the Bath & Body Works one. And then when the pandemic started I was like okay like this is too girly I need something that's gonna fight so this is just random I just got a um 
a spray hand sanitizer so like it doesn't really matter i'll use whatever i'm in my own house but before the pandemic i use those because i'm sorry but i can barely use a public restroom especially at like a gas station i would never first of all i squat i don't even put the paper down because i squat i'm not let touching i'm not touching that toilet seat and i also don't like to use public sinks <laughs> I know they have soap and water and paper towels and people always gonna be crazy when I'm like, oh, I got hand sanitizer in my purse. Because I would rather use hand sanitizer to get that situation. And when I get home, I will do a really good scrub or like I'll just keep hand wipes in the car. Like I'm that type of person. I don't like to use public sinks and soap. It's just too much germs like besides COVID. Like, I, I don't like it. It grosses me out. And half the time they don't even have like good soap like i might as well use the hand sanitizer this is probably stronger than the soap they put in y'all public restrooms so just know that or they'll have the air i don't want air blowing on my hands for 20 minutes i don't so this will do it for me i'll go in the car get a wipe it'll last me till i get home if you think i'm nasty i'm sorry i, I don't know what to tell you <laughs> i'm not low maintenance and i'm not afraid to say it i'm high maintenance i get waxed i go get a pedicure every two weeks I use all of this on a daily basis. I don't care if it takes me two hours to get in the bed because I have to do my skincare routine and all this stuff. I'm going to make sure that it gets done because I care about my body and myself and my hygiene and I don't want to smell. I don't want to smell. I don't want to be dry. Like I need all of that to happen. So in order for that to happen, I have to make sure that morning, night, all day I'm taking care of myself and my hygiene. And you know, I do want to say like I never get sick. I have a great immune system. That's another thing. I take really good care of myself and I pride myself in that. And I I will for a long time because it's what's important to me. It's what makes me personally feel good. So if you guys like any of these products, if you guys use any of these products, if you guys have any product recommendations for me, please let me know. I appreciate it because I love getting put on as well as putting other people on. And that was it. I hope I didn't talk too much. But make sure you thumbs up this video, comment down below, and subscribe for some more Leak in Your Life. And especially if you want to see more videos like this. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one.